Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Seems like only yesterday that I just took up another six star champion to rank two, but we're back at it again. And if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, it's another six star, leave a comment below and let me know who you think I will take up. But you've got five seconds because we're about to reveal it in five, four, three. Two, one, Karnak. Bet y'all didn't see that coming. Karnak just got a rework. So while I'm taking him up, I'll talk to you a little bit about why I decided to do that. As you notice, Karnak takes two different types of T4 class catalysts, cosmic and skill. But I had that skill rank up gem, which can be used for Karnak. I did not want to use Cosmic uh, Catalyst on him because I'm hoping to get some Cosmic Champions that I will take up. And I don't have a ton of those Cosmic Catalysts. Now, back in the day, I really wanted to like Karnak. He looked cool. He, had, he just had that look, the hoodie, all of that good stuff. And I really wanted to like him. I found a video that predated me uh, playing this game. Um, I don't know when this was, but Karnak looked good. Now, the Karnak that I played with did not, you know, and I, I just couldn't stand playing with him. I would bring him on the team just for synergies. So all this time I've wanted to, to like him. I really, really did. And when I got him as a six star, I was like, Ugh. you know, hopefully he'll get a buff. Then I got him again, awakened him, still did not improve. Um, and so I still waited. So when I heard that they were buffing Karnak, I was excited. And I read the changes that they were uh, proposing for him. And those changes looked good. It looked like he was going to be better all around. The only question was how much better. Okay, he has a new SIG ability. Um, looks like he can stack Furies now uh, and that sort of thing. So uh, we're going to go into Realm of Legends and just sort of play around with him a little bit. Uh, I do like him now. I haven't played enough with him to say personally whether I absolutely love him, but I've seen enough videos to know that I do want him at at least rank two. All right, so let's head over to Realm of Legends and play around with Winter Soldier. All right, we're gonna head into Realm of Legends. You can see I'm only going in there with Karnak, no synergies active. So we can get a look at his damage. You know, he's got True Strike on his special one, but that's not going to really make too much of a difference here. So my strategy right now, I want to ramp up his damage. Now, when I heard that he was a ramp up type champion, I was a little turned off. But it's not a bad ramp up. So you can see with the little green icon up there, he's getting these focus charges. We have two right now. All right. And we're going to get a third one right now. Okay, so I'm gonna hit him with that special two. And as you can see, I have this fury and it lasts a long time. Okay. There we go. I intercepted, uh, you know, interrupted his heavy with my heavy. So I did not lose any of my focus charges. And every time I knock him down, uh, my timer is paused for, I think it's uh, five seconds. So right now I've got two Furies up. Boom, boom, did it again. I also have a chance to put a bleed on him with all of my basic attacks when I have three of these up. Okay, now right there, I used up a charge. I should have uh, timed it a little bit better so that I had um, a third one or a fourth one rather uh, about to hit. Okay, there we go. So we've got three of these up. Okay. 
And I want you to notice something. Even though I'm taking recoil damage, I am not losing a ton of health. All right. And that is because of my, um, I think it's 65% reduced uh, poison damage uh, that he gets. Very nice. So he is quite sustainable. Just look at this. This is crazy. He is much better than he was before. I like him. Now, how much better? That's up to you. Um, I may take him to rank three, but we'll see. Because one of the things I don't like doing, I don't like, and I never did, like using two different catalyst types on him. I don't know why. I just don't like it. And even with the four star, it took me a long time to rank up the four star because I kept waiting until I had uh, a rank up gem of some sort, just so I could say I didn't use my uh, catalyst up. And as you could see, I did the same thing here. Okay, used up one, but we're good. As long as there's three, I don't mind having uh, two. All right, so there we've got that Fury. Okay, we used up one. Oops, got hit, but didn't really do a whole lot of damage. Here we go, boom. Got two Furies up, and you can see his damage ramping up. And as long as he has one of those charges, he has a high crit rate. You can see how much I'm critting here. It's crazy. Okay, let's see if we can get her to do a heavy. There we go. All right. Whew, do y'all see the crits? That was a 33K crit. That is crazy. Yeah, he is definitely definitely better than he was before all right we let some of the uh, furies uh wear off you have to be uh from what i'm seeing here you got to be pretty aggressive and you have to have the ai kind of playing with you as well um to maintain a lot of those furies but man this is crazy and see like right here it's a max of three, right? So I'm thinking what I could do is, like you see how it's about to go to four, which it won't. Um, I was uh, thinking that what I could do is just before it would go to the next one, because it's kind of a waste, hit them with a heavy attack or whatever. It'll use up the charge, who cares? And then you can uh, get three right back. So just just something I'm, I'm just toying around with the idea of. Let's see how he does against uh, Juggernaut here. But I'm actually having fun playing with him here. But, you know, he does take a little bit of ramp up. Okay, so here, you see that? I crit into his block. That's what you can do with uh, two of those uh, charges. Okay, so here we go. Boom, boom. Nice crits. This is the old Juggernaut. So you can parry him while he's unstoppable. Although it is annoying. But... You know, it just makes the fight longer, really. Let me spam another special, too. But look at my health. Look at my health. Even though I'm spamming these specials and I'm running suicides, taking recoil damage each time doesn't seem to matter. He is very suicide friendly. And that was another thing that caught my eye about him. You know, because I run suicides all the time. So any champion that's suicide friendly 
There we go. I just did what I was talking about in the last one. Um, I hit him with a heavy attack just before it was going to roll over. Um, but any champion that's suicide friendly is going to catch my eye. But he is very sustainable. Very much liking this. You know, I, I probably would have taken him up to rank three if not for all of those. Um, look at this. He also has innate uh, physical resistance. Look at this. I'm not taking that much damage. All right, we get to uh, fire off a special three. We haven't done that uh, in this video yet. It puts a disorient on, on them. But look at his health. I'm getting hit, right? But look at his health. Crazy. He has a high physical resistance. I didn't look and see what his uh, block proficiency was or armor or anything like that. But just, just look at his health, guys. That's all. Look at his health. After all of this, taking those hits, spamming special twos, look at his health. Very, very suicide friendly. This fight is taking a little bit longer, of course, because we have to somewhat wait out that whole unstoppable. You know, I can tag him like that a little bit, you know, to kind of speed it up lightly, but that uses up our uh, time on the um, Furies as well. All right, let's do that. And we should be good. There we go. All right, so Karnak is very much improved, as you could see. Uh, I don't know whether uh, he's rank three worthy. Uh, I did look at his SIG ability uh, briefly, did not look like he needed to be awakened. Um, but it is nice to start with that one charge, for sure. Um, it just speeds up his uh, damage. So he starts off with one charge and... Uh, is already critting, you know, like crazy. Uh, so that does give him a little bit of a, a faster damage uh, when he's going into a fight. But other than that, you know, you can wait out the, I think it's what, 12 seconds or 15 seconds. Um, and every, uh, let's take a look real quick here. Uh, we're not going to go into it too much though. But um, yeah, see, as you can see, what his signature ability does. He starts the fight with one. Uh, and the rest of those, they're nice to haves, but until I get Karnak up in SIG level, I don't really see that, you know, striking the opponent's block part of his special being that useful. All right, and you can see his uh, physical resistance. You can see the block proficiency. These are boosts over his uh, basic ones. All right, you can see what he gets here. And it's 12 seconds. Every 12 seconds, he's going to get another focus charge. Okay? So by starting with one, you just save yourself 12 seconds. So it's not like he needs to be uh, awakened or anything like that. Uh, but it is a nice to have. All right? So that is going to do it for this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, showcase of Karnak. I still have to learn more about playing him and that sort of thing. I have no idea uh, of any damage rotation or anything like that. Uh, it looks like spamming the special two is the way to go, stacking up those furies, and then just trying to maintain those furies throughout the fight. That seems to be the way to play him. All right, but take care and you all have a blessed day.